Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Limitless Lauren. Today I'm going to be doing a little chatty get ready with me, sharing some new things that I've been loving and a little of what's been going on behind the scenes. Uh, since I made my last video, a lot has changed. So I'm just gonna fill you guys in and share some fun stuff that I've been liking. Liam is in the background jumping around on the bed, being crazy. You never know what's gonna come out of his mouth, so it will be interesting. So this morning after I got done showering, a thing that I've been doing differently is after I take my hair out of my little hair towel, I don't brush it, comb it, nothing. This is my hair fully air dried and still you can see how straight my hair is without even brushing through it at all. Now I do have some wave underneath but not obviously on top. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a fun new hairstyle today using a new tool that I'm excited about. But before we get into that, I'm going to share what I've been doing in the mornings for my face routine. Uh, right after I get out of the shower, I'll put this on. Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. And this has hyaluronic acid in it. That's why I really like it. Now, since I'm in Louisiana, I really don't have to worry about dry weather like in Colorado anymore. So it's been really nice for my skin. Everybody thinks I'm crazy for loving the humidity. It just does wonders for the skin and I just love it. I actually started a new job. After a little over four years of being a stay-at-home mom, I finally have an hourly job <laughs> um, and I can actually walk to it. It's a five minute walk and it's really great, especially with the gas prices right now. I am very thankful I get to be able to walk to work, walk Liam to school. It's very convenient, but I like to look presentable and nice. So I started to get my makeup routine ready again. So this is what I'm gonna be sharing with you is what I wear on a typical day to work. So first things first, IT Cosmetics, the CC Plus, your skin but better. This has SPF 50 plus and this had really good reviews. I had tried before this one, the Physician's Formula, but it was not good. It didn't have a very good shade range and it was actually highly recommended. Got the lightest shade it had and it made me look very orange. I was not liking it at all. It was $12. This is closer to $50, I believe, 40 something. But I really like this. I really like it. So what I do, and this is also very new, is I've started using a foundation brush instead of a sponge. Uh, just because I wanted to try it out and see how it differed. I still use the sponge, which I'll show you. But I just put it on dry and I'll just do a pump and a three-fourth kind of thing. I'll just start to tap it into the skin, just trying to make sure it gets all over. And once I get it kind of tapped all over, then I'll start to swipe and really work it in there. And I'll really make sure I work it kind of in my ear, a little bit down the neck. Yeah into the hairline. So I'll take the beauty sponge and I will get it damp and then I just push it all into the skin and it helps to collect any buildup in certain areas. So this is what it looks like when I'm standing right in front of a window. <laughs> um, but I really like the look of it, the wear of it, and it does look like your skin, but better. It does cover a lot of the, if you have redness on your face or it doesn't cover my acne scars all the way, but it does a pretty good job to where I feel like I don't need to wear concealer on top of it. Up next, I do a little bit of blush. I use the Milani Bake Blush Luminoso. And I'll just take it, I'll just whatever blush brush. And I focus it pretty high up on my cheekbone and just tap it in and then I'll start to blend it in. And for eyebrows, I use the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Brunette. I've been using this for so many years and I just literally use it like mascara and wipe it up 
on my brows. Here's with the brow mascara and not. It's not too much of a difference, but I feel like it helps me make them look a little bit more fluffier. Whoa. Next up, I've been trying a new makeup palette, Makeup Revolution. This is the Reloaded Velvet Rose palette. This is the color range in here. So I think today I'm going to take this one and I'll just get it loaded up and tap it. And I'll put this all over the lid. Now for some things that have changed recently. We decided to sell the land. So it is for sale right now. And we are working with the same people who helped us buy the piece of land to get it sold. Taylor is back in Louisiana. It was pretty rough for a while, but we are working it out and just trying to figure it out as we go. Taylor and I both start college and in the summer. I start in June and I believe he's, I think he starts in May. But we will both see. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck I want to do. Now for mascara, I went back to using L'Oreal's Lash Paradise but I got their primer. So I'm gonna do one eye with primer and one eye not, and you tell me if you see a difference or not. And I'll just put it on like regular mascara, just one coat, and I will let it dry for a couple of minutes. All right, this is with the primer. Without the primer, one coat each side. I'm just gonna throw a second coat on the side just to help even it out a little bit because I think Primer does make it a difference. And if I mess up my mascara, like it gets on the color or around my eyes, I'll wait for it to fully dry. And then I'll just use my nail or a dry Q-tip and just flick it off. Trying to do it when it's wet, smears it, and it's just a mess. So I'll leave that alone for a little bit. Uh, but let's move on to hair. I got something new to try out. The Orion. O Curl Series 3 4 inch curling iron. Now this has the clamp. This isn't the typical wand like I usually use. So what you get in the box, a heat glove, an instruction manual, and two crop clips, which are very nice because I use crop clips when I'm curling my hair or even just blow drying it. And here is the iron. I think it is so beautiful. Just the colors and just the design. I think it's very sleek. And this one is digital. So you have an on and off button. And you have seven different temperatures that you can pick from. So it's at 338. So I'll do, I'll do 284 and we'll start with that. If not, I'll go up to 320, but my hair is really fine. If the thicker hair you have, the higher heat I would go. And then it has a little stand right here so you don't burn anything on your countertops. And it's already hot and I just turned it on. Very fast heat up time. I'm going to section my hair. And since I don't have a lot of hair, I just typically do two sections and split the bottom half into two sections. So the clamp, if it's in the front of your hair, the hair is gonna be facing backwards. That means you're gonna be curling away from your hair. Put the you, clamp in your hair. <laughs> if you put the clamp in back, and the, your hair is gonna go forward, so that's gonna bring the hair towards your face. So depending on where you want your curls to go, that's how you're gonna have the clamp. So I want mine going away from my face. So I'm gonna put the clamp on the outside. And you're gonna turn it and let the curling iron do the work. Just gonna slowly keep turning it and pressing on the button a little bit to help loosen it so the curls or so your hair goes through the curling wand. Woo! Look how beautiful! 
Now you don't have to go all the way down if you don't want the curl to go all the way down. If you want more of a wave, just stop higher up. So let's, let me show you that. Take a piece, clamp on the outside. I'm just gonna twist it slowly, letting the hair in. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna leave this out and just pull down. So now it's gonna be more of a loose wave compared to this, which is like a more tight ringlet curl. And this is a pretty long barrel on here. Typically, the ones I've used are a lot shorter. So I feel like this length would be really good for long hair. Now, I'll show you one going um, towards my face. So I'm putting the clamp in the back. And I'll turn it. Turning it. Turning it. Kind of moving down as I go. And just letting go. If you're scared of burning your hand with like a curling wand where you actually have to wrap your hands around it, try doing a clamp. I mean, you could still wrap your hair around it. I'll show you an example. So this is the typical wand where you can wrap around. This is the ones I usually have. You hold it on there and then let it go. And it'll do like a little wave like that. So you can pretty much do everything you could with a wand with a clamp as well. And make sure that your hair is going underneath just so it doesn't get tangled all together. And look, I'm only at 284 heat and look how fast these curls are coming out. I would start out with a lower heat just to see so you're not hurting your hair more than you need to. Making sure the clamp's in front, turning it around. So keep your finger on the button just so you can lightly press it to move down your hair. And once you get to the end, just press it to let all the hair out so you're not pulling your hair. The wand also has a safety shut off after an hour, so if you forget to turn it off, which I feel like that's really important, <laughs> especially if you're on the go and in a hurry. A lot of people forget little things like that. Not that it's little, because it could burn your hailstone, but you know. When I move to the top half, I start from the back just so I don't miss any pieces. It also has a swivel free cord so you're not going to get all wrapped up which is really nice. Last little piece here. You just let the curling iron do all the work. Beautiful. I have to say I like it way better than a curling wand. You're not having to wrap it and burning your hand or anything like that. You can also use this as a curling wand. So I would highly suggest trying out the curl, this curling iron. If you are on the fence of whether you should do a clamp or not a clamp, this can do both. You can try it out. So easy. I did this in like five minutes, literally. So if you want to try this out, the company was so nice and sent me a 25% off code. You get this off of Amazon. It's normally $27.99. And then put in the code, their brand name, Orion, and then 25, and you get 25% off that. They also have some other coupons that you can clip on there, even lowering the price even more. Uh, but seriously, check this out. They are a great company. I love the design of this. I love how easy it is. And I, it has totally changed my perspective on the curling iron versus the wand. And to just finish off the look for lips, I really don't like to put on any lipstick or liquid lip. I used to like liquid lip back in the day, but uh, ever since having a child and kissing them, wrestling, it just doesn't work for me. So what I do is I've been using the Jeffree Star. He had a little kit with a bunch of little minis. And this one's the Berry Blast. So I'll just put on gloss and that's it. And this is the finished look. 
uh, that is a little of some of the new products that I've been using and loving. Please go check out that curling iron and use my code to save yourself some money. I'm not making any money off of any of the sales. Just use my code and try it out for yourself. But thank you for joining me in my video today. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. But wait. Before you go, I'll miss you so. So please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to a new car wash today. Two times I'm going to a car wash today and I'm going to some places. City Market, Target, and various. And a, and a, couple, and a place and I'm going to take some toys today. And stinky health and poo poo and pee pee. Okay, okay, finish it up, finish it up. Play with my tunnel. Squash to my tunnel.